Hi Scorpio, welcome to Angela 333. I hope you're all well, you're healthy and you're safe. Uh, a couple things here before we start the reading. Uh, basically everything you need to know is in the description box. This reading is about what your person is feeling now. There will be an extended uh, reading to this reading. Uh, you can check it out if this reading resonates. I will dive into uh, more of their thoughts, their upcoming actions, uh, their intentions, love notes, and guidance, and new love if that shows up in your reading. But um, this reading will be specifically more so around your person's feelings, okay? And the extended will be outside of that whatever doesn't come up in the reading. Uh, and then secondly, you can now follow me on TikTok and Instagram. All that info is below as well. And then there's also a donation button uh, for emergency aid to Ukraine if you'd like to donate. And with that, Scorpio, let's just get down to your reading. I'm going to pull some messages here. This is messages from your person, you know, what they're feeling. This is the Hidden Truth Oracle. So let's get some messages here for Scorpio. What is this person feeling okay can be what they're thinking as well depending on your person but let's see here all right that same card came out for cancer as well first card out for cancer oh wow that card came out too all right the third one didn't so that could be a sign you know if you're dealing with a cancer or uh, you have cancer in your chart uh, you can always check out that reading as well but you have here, I'm so attracted to you, okay? So there's a very strong attraction chemistry that they feel for you, all right? Uh, I feel you even though we are apart. So that is, you know, that tells me there's more than just, you know, attraction and chemistry. That tells me there's a spiritual connection, a soulmate, very strong soulmate tie there, or could be a twin flame energy as well. You also have here, I know I messed everything up, okay? So your person here is uh, maybe taking some accountability, all right? So they may have done something and they're feeling like they're the ones that messed up things. So uh, with that, let's pull some tarot. I already did some pre-shuffle, so I'll just get a couple of shuffles here. All right, thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Show Scorpio how this person is feeling about Scorpio. Show Scorpio how this person is feeling about Scorpio. What do they need to know about how their person is feeling about them? Oh, all right. We get three more cards. Okay, there's the devil there. You know, I saw the devil energy uh, when I was shuffling too. It was at the bottom of the deck. All right, so I wanted to come out here. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Bottom of the deck here, you have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Okay, give me just a moment. I'm honing in on this energy here. I kind of feel like your person's energy uh, is all over the place, <laughs> okay? Uh, their energy definitely comes across here with the Nine of Wands and the Nine of Swords. They definitely come across as somebody who is very guarded. And I feel like you only get so far with this person and then they put their walls up, okay? We're gonna clarify, we're gonna see that's what it's all about, okay? I also see though there could be a period of time that there has been some sort of weight here. Your person may have been just trying to figure things out and there could be communication. We'll see when we clarify. You have the Queen of Pentacles here and you have the Five of Cups, okay? So, you know, with that, I know I messed everything up card. I feel like this is somebody who, uh, as it says, I feel like they here with that Five of Cups uh, is really having some regrets because I do feel like they see you and hold you in high regard here, even if you don't feel that way. It may be that this person didn't show you that you were worth it or didn't value you, but I feel like this person is regretting this now. And they're kind of, like I said, I feel like they're all over the place, so they may be caught up in their emotions here. 
Um, and it may be that, you know, they know they messed things up. They maybe ran from this connection here, ran from their feelings and emotions, um, and they didn't offer anything, right? They didn't offer the, anything stable. Now we have here Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We have Cancer, your energy, Scorpio, and Pisces, and strong Capricorn. So you also have here the Ten of Cups, and you have the Devil card, okay? You know, with this Devil card, you know, there's definitely some negative energies or negative thinking maybe they have around relationships or family or what they what they feel um, is happy here. I'm going to say here too that uh, there could be some sort of negative influence around your person. Um, but I also just kind of get to like a self-sabotaging energy from your person. And you have the Knight of Pentacles here. Okay, and you have the Two of Cups, all right? So, you know, there's a very strong connection, again, as I said, a very strong spiritual connection between the two of you. I feel that the two of you can feel each other when you are apart, but I feel like things are kind of at a standstill right now, all right? And I feel that's because you have the Two of Pentacles. Your person has been very wishy-washy. Your person here, I feel, uh, with the Three of Swords here, like I said, it does feel like there's an energy of some sort of hurt or having some sort of regret here. And I feel that the energies are unbalanced here between you and your person. But I feel it's because uh, there is something here with your person that they run when they come in, in, when they get too close or that they realize that this could be a Ten of Cups situation. But let's clarify the cards, see if we can get some additional messages here. Why is the Nine of Wands here, please, and the Knight of Swords? Why is the Nine of Wands and the Knight of Swords here, please? Okay, so we have the Five of Wands. We have the Ace of Swords. And we have the Fool card. Okay, I heard um, when the Fool came out, okay, I, I read... Uh, not just the meanings of a card, but I also mean what spirit gives me, or read what me read what spirit gives me. And when the fool came out, um, I feel like you're, it said to me that your person has made some bad choices, has made some bad choices here. You have the nine of cups, so you know there could be some sort of toxicity in their life. They could have some sort of addiction, or you know maybe they uh, enjoy going out partying. But this also can be an energy here where this is somebody who was just uh, content uh, where they are at, all right? Because you have here, clarifying the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords, as I talked about, this person only gets so close and then the walls come up here, okay? You have the Five of Wands. So it tells me that at some point, you and this person weren't on the same page. You know, it also can be an energy where there could have been some sort of drama. Like I said, there's some sort of, could be some sort of negative energy here around your person, but I really feel this is your person's um, internal struggle here. Okay, so they may be fighting themselves or sabotaging this connection or relationship. You have the Ace of Swords here and you have the Fool card. Okay. So, um, I feel that with this Five of Wands, this is someone who they kind of just I feel like they like their freedom type of energy. I feel like this is somebody who you know they they just kind of um I, I see the full too can be a single energy and it may be that your person here wanted to be single and you know maybe there were other people in the mix here with that five of wands distracting your person here or there was some sort of drama here but I feel like um, what I'm hearing is that this person wasn't being honest with themselves and maybe they weren't honest with you either but there is there's definitely some sort of struggle here okay if if that you and this person were not on the same page and it may be how the two of you thought um, about this connection or relationship here with the Ace of Swords, okay? 
Um, so your, your person, I feel, it, for whatever reason, I feel they were content, um, maybe how they were doing things, okay? So they may have been somebody who initially, right, they only got to a certain point and then they wanted to break free, right? And, and it's almost like claim their freedom again. But let's see here. Let's see where this is going. Why is the Queen of Pentacles and the Five of Cups? That's kind of like how they're feeling, okay? And whether it's their uh, defense mechanism or what, but why is the Queen of Pentacles and the Five of Cups here? All right, so you have the Three of Swords. Yeah, the Three of Swords showed up again. Two of Cups, they're having regrets. Definitely feel like they're having regrets here. Prince of Swords. Okay, there's that Knight of Swords energy there with the Prince of Swords. They're running away from their feelings and emotions from you, okay? That's what happened. They ran. They ran because they do have feelings for you, all right? And that's what they're having regrets about. And that's what they're thinking about here with that Four of Swords. They're trying to make sense of it all is what I get here. Okay, you have the Three of Swords. You have the Two of Cups and the Prince of Swords. Now it can be the reverse. Maybe you ran away, Scorpio. I don't know. But the energy here shows me, I'm going to read it as your person, that they're having regrets about this. So if you're feeling hurt, they're feeling hurt. Okay, even if you can't see that. Because with that Two of Cups, they have a very, very strong connection. They want to come towards you. That's what I'm seeing here because they have regrets. They have regrets that they ran from the connection. But with this Nine of Swords, it's somebody who, you know, they can come in quickly, but they can leave just as quickly. And so they're, they're coming back around. I'm telling you here, there's communication. I can already see it here with the Ace of Swords. I read these three cards. We'll read them when we get to here. But we have the Ten of Cups and we have the Devil card. Why is the Ten of Cups and the Devil card here, please? Why is the Ten of Cups and the Devil card here, please? King of Swords. Princess of Cups. And the Star card, yeah. This is someone here, you know, again... Uh, they may, you know, they may have like a pessimistic thinking or negative thinking here um, that detaches them, okay, pulls them away from being happy or there could be something external, like I said, an addiction, uh, something unhealthy or, you know, maybe they're around people, negative people, I don't know here, but again, here's the Four of Swords. So it's almost like an energy here where you got the, the Princess of Cups, you got the Star card, and you have the King of Swords, okay? So I feel like there's communication. I feel like this person's coming towards you with communication, but there's something around this devil energy. Now, it can be a repeat button, right? Repeating patterns of the past could show me here that this person is not... Uh, hasn't changed because the, the the three cards you have here, you have the Ace of Swords, the Prince of Swords, and the Star card, Strong Aquarius Energy. So I feel like there is a communication that is going to come to you here. Um, but with this Devil Energy here, uh, it shows me here that they'll probably send you some sort of happy message or flirty message or something like that. But it's not, it feels like it's not going to be anything deep, okay? Uh, it shows me here that it's not going to be anything deep. So I feel like they, they um, even though they feel like they messed up, I don't know that they're going to admit that they, they messed up, all right? They just know that they're very attracted to you physically and spiritually from what I am getting in, in the energy. So I'm going to pull three more cards and just see here... <clears throat> What else can you tell Scorpio about how this person is feeling? Okay, Page of Swords. So they're probably doing some spying on you. Okay, Death, of, death card. Yep, spying on Scorpio. There's Scorpio there. Let's get one more card for Scorpio. What's this person feeling? Yeah, Two of Pentacles. All right. So there's an imbalanced energy here, okay? 
It could be an on and off connection or relationship here. You do have the chariot, could be dealing with a Cancerian. King of Swords, okay. So I feel like what's going to happen is um, at some point I do get communication from your person. All right, I do get this person coming towards you. There could be some travel distance there with that chariot card. Um, but uh, there's some sort of imbalance here. Now, it's possible your person, you know, they could be in a relationship or uh, have a family here. That's not going to be for everybody. But uh, this person is coming forward, okay? They are going to open up a little bit, I feel, um, about maybe how they're feeling, but their energy really shows guarded, okay? Very shows, very much so feels guarded. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now, Scorpio, we're gonna look into more what they're thinking. Uh, we, we try to pull as much as we can out here of what they're feeling. They kind of go together, uh, but we're gonna do what they're thinking. Um, I'm gonna pull some cards here. Okay. What they're thinking is going to go right here. We're going to do what their upcoming actions are. What other upcoming actions is this person going to take towards Scorpio? And then we're going to do their intentions. What's this person's intentions towards Scorpio? And then um, after that, we will look at what uh, we'll get some love notes and some guidance and wisdom messages for you. So we're going to take it to the extended Scorpio. I hope to see you there. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.